Now we will prove that the summation over the all values of x of the PMF of the binomial distribution is always equals to 1. So let's start the proof. Firstly, we know that q raised to power n is constant term because it is independent of x. So that's why we take q raised to power n outside the summation and take q raised to power minus x inside the summation. And we know that q is equals to 1 minus p. That's why we write here 1 minus p. Here we also write 1 minus p raised to power minus of the x. We can write this term as like 1 divided by 1 minus p raised to the power positive of the x. On combining this term with this term, we get this whole term. Now we know that this is the Newton's binomial theorem formula. On comparing this term with this term, we can see clearly that at the place of the k, here we have x, that is k is equals to x. At the place of y, here we have this whole term, that is y is equals to p divided by 1 minus p. That means on putting value of the y is equal to p divided by 1 minus p in this equation, we get this as the answer of this whole equation. Now, we take LCM of these two terms as like this. On cutting here, we left with 1 divided by 1 minus p raised to power n. On cutting, we get only 1. That is, we have proved that the summation of the PMF of binomial distribution is equals to 1.